All right, so let's get started. Maybe some people will join like randomly later on, but uh, yeah, we'll get started so that the people from Philippines, the people from Asia can go to bed. Just wanna check if anyone says anything. 1 a.m. my time, it's worth it all. Thank you. Oh, Kaya, I remember, I remember. Some of the names I can um, recognize, so cute. Okay, so, oh, how do I close this Q&A? Okay, so today I, I'm gonna show you how to grow your audience with whoop, Notion and DM automations. So I am super excited to share with you my strategy and um, it's been working really well for me. So I hope that uh, it will be super helpful for you too. All right. So first of all, let's talk about why you are here. So I assume that most of you are creators too or aspiring creators. And you are here because you want to, first of all, grow your audience. Um, you want to increase engagement. You want to get more, you know, DMs, comments. You want to grow. You want to, um, okay, not only grow, but you also want to have this, like, to build this amazing community to generate trust and connection. Um, and I think, I think I've managed to do that these years with you guys. And um, it's been amazing. So I, I bet you also want to learn how to do that today. And also, of course, you also want to learn how to optimize the fuck out of your business. I'm sorry, I, I really try not to curse, but I can't stop myself. So yeah, I hope, I really, really hope that uh, whatever I can share with you today, my experience can help you uh, grow your audience. All right. So moving on to the agenda, I'll just go for it real fast. We'll start with talking about why you should offer free resources, why it's so important and why Notion is amazing for this exact activity. And um, then we'll talk about why you're missing out if you aren't using DM automations and also the benefits of using DM automations. I can't stop talking about DM automations and some people are like meh and I'm like, you're missing out. I'm sorry, but you're missing out. <laughs> and uh, thirdly, we'll also talk about why this is such a powerful combo. Like, I feel like it's, I feel like I, I figured out like a new invention or something because Notion and DM automation is just the synergy. It's amazing. And I'm going to teach you how you can leverage this very powerful combo. Um, and then the most exciting part is uh, step number four, where we'll create an automation together. So I really hope that you guys already created an account. Um, the link is again in the chat and uh, you can use my code to try out the pro version because the pro version has such cool features. If you want, you can try that. Um, you get one month for free and then you can yeah, do whatever you continue or stop. That's up to you. And then lastly, we have a and a and I, I hope that I can turn on, yeah, you guys, mics and camera. Oh my God, I'm really bad at these kind of things. I should really get someone to help me with this technical stuff. Like last week, I actually Googled how to send like a Google Meet invitation. <laughs> I'm really bad at these things, um, but figured it out. Anyways, we'll figure it out. I'll figure out how uh, you can turn on camera and, and microphone and everything. And then we'll have a Q&A um, session. And I really hope I can answer all of your questions. And if not, just ask them in the Q&A and I'll send them to ManyChat. I'll figure it out and I'll send you all an email with all the answers. All right. Okay. Good. Oof. Oh my God. Still kind of nervous, but um, yeah. So first of all, I just want to talk about me. <laughs> Had a lot of fun with this um, presentation. Um, I guess, I hope you all know me. If not, that's also okay. My name is Teresa. I am um, Danish and Vietnamese. I'm right now currently at um, my university in uh, like Copenhagen business school because my Wi-Fi suddenly decided to break down. Um, I don't know why I mentioned that, but <laughs> it has nothing to do with who I am. But I'm a full-time digital creator. Probably know me for all the, the Notion um, content I've been posting. Um, I just started using Notion around three years ago because I thought lockdown was such a tough period of, of my life. And I was just all, yeah, down uh, rock bottom. And then I somehow found out about Notion on YouTube. And I, at that point, I didn't know it was a productivity tool. I just created kind of like, I felt like it was kind of like a website for myself, for my life, if my life had a website, kind of. 
and I stored everything that I learned about myself, everything I learned about different, um, yeah, personal growth, self-development tips in Notion. And then one day I thought, this is quite cool. It looks really cool. And I decided to, to just um, share the template on Gumroad, thinking, ah, nobody's going to buy this. Like, just going to do it for fun. It could be fun to make some money. Uh, so I put like <laughs> a picture of my template, but it wasn't done at all. Like it was just with all my stuff and very personal stuff, like like childhood trauma and everything. Um, <laughs> I just put it up and months went by and suddenly I get an email from a woman. I think her name is Janice or something. I don't know if she's here today, but she's amazing. And she just texted me, what the heck? I bought your template. Where is it? I paid I paid for it. Where is it? Where can I get it? And then I was like, oh my God, okay, I have to finish it. And then, yeah, I, I just continued doing that. And now this year, I kind of uh, rebranded. I kind of thought, okay, I really enjoyed being uh, in Notion, like doing Notion stuff, being the Notion girl for all these years. But what do I actually want? And what I actually want is um, to help other creators. Well, let's see. Okay, I really want to help other creators create their dream life. And you might be asking me, okay, what is the dream life? What do you mean? And what I mean is that I somehow was able, in these three years, I was able to create my dream life. Like the, the things I'm doing now is something I dreamt about while, when I was a kid and I thought it wasn't possible for me. I somehow found a way to um, work with all of my different passions. I'm a multi-passionate person. Um, I have so many different things I like and I somehow found a way to just, yeah, work for me. So now every day I feel like I'm playing, I'm experimenting, I'm learning new things. I get to be creative. I, I made videos since I was a kid. Actually, it was my dad um, who bought me my first laptop and he taught me how to create videos. And I just did that. And, and a lot of people told me, isn't it a waste of time? Shouldn't you study? And then yeah, today I'm, I'm actually doing that um, as my job. So I'm really, really grateful for that. And, and I, through Instagram, I met so many people telling me, oh, Patrisa, I, I really want to be creative, but I'm stuck here at my accounting job and I just don't know if I can do it. And so, yeah, my dream is, is really to help other creators or aspiring creators find a way for themselves to, to live the life of their dreams, right? Um, and that is the intention behind everything I do, all the content I put out, and also this workshop today. Uh, so yeah, I <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Um, okay, that was enough about me. I could keep talking for an hour. When I typed myself, this part was only one minute, and I think I spoke for like five minutes now. So anyways, now you know about me and that my Wi-Fi doesn't work. So let's move on. All right, so first thing is, um, let's talk about why you should offer free resources for your audience with Notion. So as we all know, Notion is mostly seen as this productivity tool. You can manage everything in Notion. If you're a creator, it's amazing, to, like for managing your tasks, your projects, all of that, cleaning schedule, everything. But I think, things changed for me when I realized, okay, um, you can also use it as a free resource that you offer your niche audience. Um, and I'll tell you exactly why. But first of all, why free resources? So my biggest mistake when I first started out as a creator was I was just so focused on sales. It was all about, okay, I need to earn money because if I don't earn money, then it's not worth my time, then I'm wasting my time. And actually, what I figured out is that if you're a creator, your main focus shouldn't be on sales. It should be to serve your community by offering free value. And um, actually, when I launched my first, my first ever free template, it changed the entire game. Like I was just, I thought, okay, someone bought my template. Let me just create more paid template. And my growth was so slow. Nobody was interacting with me. There was no community. It was just like, here, I'm selling this product. Okay, fine, I'll buy it. Nobody was DMing me. Nobody was uh, <laughs> making fun of me, sending me jokes and memes and all these funny comments I get. Like, I have to show you some of the comments I get. So funny. Like, I sometimes find myself laughing, uh, like, out loud uh, with my phone just alone in the dark at 2 a.m. Um, so, yeah, I, I just... Um, 
one day I just decided, hey, I just read this book, Midnight Library. It was such an amazing book. Let me just create a book tracker and send it out um, and see. And then I suddenly got so many downloads, so many new followers. People were interacting. People were DMing me. And I was like, oh, wow. OK, so this is what I'm supposed to do. OK, let me continue doing that. So yeah, definitely. Um, and Notion is amazing for that. So now you might be asking me, OK, so yeah, what should I, what kind of Notion template should I create then? Like I might, it doesn't matter if you are, um, let's say a food blogger or travel blogger or um, I don't know, fitness content creator, you can put your intellectual property in a Notion template. And um, it could be uh, your unique guide or advice. I'm sure all of you have a very unique experience with everything. Uh, expert information. It could also be if you're a graphic designer, it could be a design template. So people can kind of, okay, understand what's your style, what's your design like, and also your personal philosophy, also your systems. It could literally be anything. So it doesn't matter, regardless of your niche, you can always create something that you can offer for free to your audience. And um, so how will this benefit you? Well, it's cool because just imagine that you make a really great um, Notion template. You should see it as like a trailer or a teaser of what you are about, your value, right? And then someone downloads it and they're like, wow, this person created this for free. I got all of this value for free. I can't even imagine what the paid content must be like and also they trust you they're like wow she's just here to she, she really wants to teach she's not just trying to sell me stuff but she's really trying to um yeah help me I don't know get fit or improve my nutrition all of that so it's just people really get a taste of who you are and what you can offer and then they're also more warmed up to buy from you to book from you like like all the people that I have bought any service from have been people where they they, um, I downloaded a free resources. And then I'm just like, yeah, I, I don't mind. I'll spend all of this money just like in an instant because I trust this person and I know this person just, yeah, is the shit. So, <laughs> um, and then of course, it also helps with growing your email list. Um, yeah, I, I mean, before I, I started with this whole notion thing, I thought like email marketing, that must be that nobody, you know, it doesn't work, but it really works. And uh, offering free value is also such a good way to grow your email list. So only wins. And of course, Notion is the perfect tool for this. It is so simple and easy to create a little Notion template one page. It doesn't have to be anything insane. I've seen a few good examples I wanna show you of people that I follow, for example, some of you might know Design by Ayelet. So she is a graphic designer, she's amazing graphic designer. I really love her work. And she offers this weekly planner for her followers as a free resource. And when you download it, you can just tell what she's all about. You can tell, you know, you get a, a taste of her design and her style. And yeah, I just think it's so smart of her to offer this free resource also her um, customers are all like um, business owners, right? Or have personal brands, also content creators. So this weekly planner could just, yeah, it's just perfect. Um, and yeah, I, I would love to, to hire her. If I didn't design my own design, I would because she makes me want to after I, I got her um, Notion template. And then we have Scorpio Rising Media. You have to check out her page because she creates such amazing content. She's a photographer and she also does um, creative marketing and as you can see her template is so amazing it's very like this uh, minimalistic uh, aesthetics and you really kind of it's also her um, her picture so you kind of get an understanding of what she's about so yeah you you can't lose from um, creating these free notion resources notion is just so perfect I don't understand why more people don't do it I also used to to work for uh, one of my clients was um, an intuition teacher right and we created a Notion template with all of her meditations and exercises, uh, journaling prompts, and people loved it. So yeah, regardless of what you're doing, you can always find a way to put it into a Notion template and offer that value for free. 
All right. And if you don't have any ideas, I put together, actually, um, I counted it again. It's actually, I put together 129 plus Notion template ideas for different niches. Um, you can access this later because I'm gonna show you how, like I'm gonna offer this through a DM automation. So we will try um, the DM automation with this um, template so you can get it afterwards. But um, if you are lacking some inspiration, check out this uh, 129 plus Notion template ideas for the different niches. I hope that your niche is in there. If not, you can text me and I can also help you brainstorm or I can create a post on Instagram about it. So um, I just wanna see if anyone texted something. Uh, oh, <laughs> so nice. Um, okay, let me close the chat again. And, oh, time to be a bit salesy. If you really wanna get started with selling Notion templates, um, because you thought everything I said was super interesting, but you're like, okay, I wanna offer free resources, but I also want to, um, yeah, offer, I also wanna sell Notion templates. I have a Notion creator course that will help you get started. So if you're like at zero and you don't know anything, then this course would be really great for you. And for everyone who is um, part of this workshop, I also want to offer my um, personal work, uh, personal workspace and template for free. And I will actually send you the link right now because I completely forgot that this is where <laughs> Nasi was supposed to send you the link, but I can do that. I can do that. No stress. Okay, a little bit stressed, but no, I'm not stressed. I'm stressed. Right. Okay, I sent you the link. It's in the chat right now. So, yep. And woo, let's move on. Oh, before you see this, <laughs> let's move on. So now you have your free resource, right? You have your, you created a Notion template. You put your intellectual, you drizzled your intellectual property in it. It's amazing. And you know, people are going to love it, but nobody is downloading it. And what's wrong? So you you post it on social media and you you say um link in bio find my template in bio and and i can tell you link in bio sucks it really sucks like it sucks first of all most people put it in their caption and i can already tell you most people don't check your caption i used to put it like as the first sentence in my caption that's like all right but nobody and then I, I also put it like at the end of my caption, which was just worse, right? Because nobody's, maybe they will read, but they won't read everything. And then, um, yeah, but I've actually found some data on this. Can you guess what the CTR is for LinkedIn bio? Um, it, CTR is, is click-through rate. And it's basically how many people will actually click your link based on the people who are seeing the link. Um, let's make this exciting. I want you to, to, to guess in the Q&A. And then all the, from all the people who have the right answer, I'll choose one person who will then win a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. Oh my God. Yeah, this is gonna be exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you win a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me if you get this answer correctly. And I don't know if any people actually guess, but you can guess in the Q&A. You can't guess in chat. Okay, so we have 40%. Um, wow. I just said it sucked. Okay, 3%, 5%, 8%. Um, come on, a few more, a few more. Just guess, like you don't lose anything from guessing. I'm not judging you, I'm sorry. I might have judged the first person who commented, but I don't think you can see the other people. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. We have some good ones here. Yeah, okay, let's say I give you five seconds to guess. And I see that some of you have like the right answer, like uh, maybe five of you. Uh, so five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I will check the chat later, but this is the answer. So approximately 1.5 to 2% only. And this is from a study from Buffer. It's actually insane. When I saw it, I was like, yeah, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> So that sucks. Link in bio sucks. It just sucks. I'm sorry. Um, and um, see, I get these, like I wrote link in bio and people are still like, where can I get this? Where can I get that? It's a, 
and I have to reply to them. And honestly, before I used to send out things like here, you can see my automation didn't work actually. And this is this actually brought me back to the past because you see, I had to 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 go into the comments or in my DMs to send out my link one after one after one. It was really sickening, honestly. So that sucks. And I'm still doing this on Twitter because I'm not using automation on Twitter. So I know what it's like. I, I bet some of you, if you're motion creators, also know how, yeah, how annoying that is. We don't want to do that because it's a waste of our time, right? We are creatives, we should spend our time in something nice or something creative. So what the heck should you do instead? Da -dun, da -dun. Now I'll share the most important thing. Um, DM automations with many chats. So yeah, um, DM automations are direct message automations. And if you don't know what that is, I think probably most of you have kind of been interacting with my DM automations. And in some situations, it's been almost like in an inappropriate, like they, like <laughs> I have so many keywords and some of you are really good at activating those keywords. So you keep getting messages from my, um, from my DM automations, but yeah. So it's direct message automations. I'll show you, explain to you exactly what it is in a second. So you can choose a keyword. You'll post a social media post and you can choose a keyword. For example, um, I used workshop for people who wanted to sign up for this workshop. It can either be a comment or a DM. And um, why someone raised their hand? Did they say something in the Q&A? Ah, no. Um, yeah, the chat is disabled. I'm sorry. You can only, um, yeah, write to me in, in Q&A. So yeah, as I said, keyword could be workshop. Someone will text me workshop. And then they'll actually receive a message from me. And I know Kaya, I think, I, I hope I pronounced your name, I'm pronouncing your name correctly, but, but he, she, they are here today. <laughs> and then they'll receive a message um automatically and here you see there's a button that will then lead them to either a free resource let's say this workshop is a free resource right so so um and then they'll sign up here that's so cool that is so cool instead of you saw how i was like sending the link one by one and here they just need to to show that they're interested by commenting or dming a uh, keyword and then they just get this message and it's cute and um then they get directed to uh yeah the resources the resource so let me just teach you how to create authentic dm automations because um let's face it we all kind of hate these chatbots and um i really try my best to create because it's not about it's not about convenience it's also it's it's nice you know you can you can do it in a nice way like people like oh dm automations are like super Meh, but that's up to you. You decide what it's going to say and how it's going to interact with people. And there are ways for you to um, actually create authentic connections through DM automations. Like I actually made friends with people where the friendship started from my DM automations. It's insane. So yeah, um, someone raised their hand again. What is this saying? Oh, that's me. That's K. Okay, K. <laughs> um, yeah, so how do you do that? First, as you could see in the message, there is different features, many chat features where you can actually use someone's first name. It just, it sounds so personal, honestly. Like sometimes I test my own DM automations and it just feels personal. Like I'm like, oh, someone is DMing me. Um, and then as I mentioned, don't make it sound like a robot. Really, really try your best to imagine, okay, if this was a friend, how would I interact with them? I really try to put my personality in there. It's important. Some people just use DM automations as just a tool for convenience. And it's not only that. You can actually show your personality, your values, your brand in there. And people just, it just feels personal. Even if they know it's an automation, it feels personal. And actually it's scary. Like it's not scary, but it's quite crazy that a lot of people actually don't even know that it's an automation. And then of course, emojis just, just, Emojis are good, right? Like <laughs> we all love them and please use them for uh, 
yeah, your automations. And then there are different features within ManyChat that I'll show you that can make it way more authentic. For example, you can use delay. So if someone is commenting, you can say, okay, I want to reply in 10 seconds so that they don't think it's an automation. <laughs> it just seems more natural and, and just, you know, it's spamming them with information. And then you can even add pictures and videos. And then one of my favorites are voice messages. And I bet some of you might think that I actually sent you, like created message, voice messages just for you when it was actually just an automation. I'm sorry, but I just, I really like it. I don't know. Um, I'm also very extra with this. So uh, yeah, voice messages, messages. It's just, it's nice. People feel like, oh, okay, nice. All right. Um, now I want to show you some different um, automations and how people reacted. It's Kay again here. As you can see, this is a BM keyword trigger. So she actually texted me um, and because she used to, she wanted me to send her the link again and then she used the word workshop and then she got the message and it's just like, but done. I didn't even, I wasn't even awake at this point, I think. Or I was awake, it was five, I was awake. <laughs> um, and then I got this one, for example, and this one was a comment keyword trigger. So for one of my posts, I was offering, yeah, like free resource can be anything, right? Even just an invisible box. So this longer story, you can find out why. But um, she commented, invisible, I don't know, box probably. And then she received this. Um, and look at her response. It's just, it's lovely. You're creating some nice conversations here. It's lovely. Oh yeah, and also you can also do this with story replies as well. So DM, comments, story replies, it's amazing. Um, and then also story mentions, which I also really like. So every time someone shares a story uh, where I'm tagged, they'll receive this message. I actually think I can make it a bit more lovely, <laughs> a little bit more personal. You can even randomize things so that you can say, okay, 10% will receive this message, 20% will receive this, so that if people keep sharing your stuff, they don't just get the same message all over. Um, but look at her response. It's so cute. And I think it's I think it's because of the deep motivation. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. And so what is the goal with the motivations? And I think it's it's yeah, to, to it's just it's I'll talk about all the good benefits, but I really want to have these nice conversations on DM, but I, and I, I probably have texted with some of you like in real life, but I just, you know, you don't have the time to do that when so many people are DMing you. And this is such a good way to have conversations with people and send them all your free resources or tools or recommendations in a very convenient way where it still feels personal. And, and um, some people will actually think, it's you and they're like I get this message all the time like whoa how do you respond so fast I'm like yeah really fast it's just on my phone online all the time I wish this wasn't true but it's actually true anyways um and some people of course also can tell this is not possible of course it's an automation but they you know they're like oh wow this is cool teach me your ways Um, I don't know if, if this person is here today it could be cool if she's here or he I think it's a she so yeah, what I want to say is ManyChat is amazing for DM automations. Um, I'm sorry to all my friends. I, I keep talking about it, even if they're not creators, it doesn't make any sense for them to have this. Um, but yeah, if you're a creator, it's it's amazing. I don't, I don't, I use this, I've been using this. I I believe in ManyChat. <laughs> so really try it out. And um, some of you might be thinking right now, I'm a small creator. It doesn't make any sense for me to use DM automations because nobody is commenting, nobody is DMing me. This workshop was a waste of my time. I shouldn't have woken up at 1 a.m. for this workshop. Waste of my time, waste of my sleep. And I can already tell you, no, this is actually, this is bullshit. It's not, <laughs> I'm sorry, but it really doesn't matter if you're a small creator or a bigger creator. Actually, it's even more amazing in a way if you're not even more, but equally as amazing if you're a small creator. I started using DM automations as a small creator too. And I'll tell you exactly why. Um, these are the benefits of using DM automations. If you're using DM automations, you're actually making people want to DM you more, making people want to comment more. I found some 
data here, actually you get five times more comments, more DMs, and 23 times more link clicks. I, I, I really tried to double check this uh, source, but yeah, this is what they said. Like, and it's actually insane. And I think it's compared to LinkedIn bio. Saves you a lot of time, you get increased engagement. So even if you're small, this might actually be how you grow. This is how I grew. I think this is how I grew. Of course, it's also because I, I create um, nice content. Well, I like to think so, but it just speeds everything up, makes it better. Um, yeah. And another thing is also, oh, someone raised their hand. Let me just see if there's anything. Why is it increased? Are there any sort of increase? Why? Oh, well, because why is it that people start wanting to come at you? Because to text you, I mean, because it's so much easy. Like, it, I don't know, when you use link in bio, people can either choose to go out of the post and find your, and go link in bio, and then they have to look through whatever you have on your link in bio, and they can't find it, or they can find it. It's like, blah, blah, blah. If you use a DM automation, you start with engagement. So you're like encouraging people to engage with you actively. So it's not just like, yeah, I find the link in my bio, but it's like comment right now, you know? And I think that's why it works. But um, if we just look at DM, DM automation in itself, uh, yeah, I just think people, it's social. I think that's why it works so well. It's social, it's convenient, it's just great. I will talk more about the benefits of using Notion and DM automations later. But if, <laughs> but first, oh my God, I just want to talk about that it's for free. So if you're a creator and if you're small, you have no excuse. I'm sorry, you have no excuse. It's for free for up to a thousand subscribers. I've been using ManyChat for free most of the time. <laughs> I've been using it for free for the first year. And um, I just recently, a few months ago, updated to the pro version. Um, but yeah, for free, you just get started. It's, it's like, why not, right? Moving on. Okay, finally, I can talk about why Notion and DM automations make such a great match. It's just amazing. And um, I call a why, so I, I came up with this framework. I always wanted to do a framework. I call it CCC. Convenience, <laughs> connection, and then I had a bit of a difficult time finding the last one. So cool growth. CCC, why is this, why is Notion DM automations great? CCC, convenience, connection, cool growth. And I'll get into details. First of all, it's convenient. Oh my God, it's so easy to create things in Notion. It's so easy to put a bit of yourself, your personality, your value in Notion. And then DM automations are super simple to use. I am not a very complex person. I will show you how it's done. Uh, if you create value and then you, with Notion and you deliver it very efficiently, you can work while you're sleeping. I always tell my dad that and he thinks it's bullshit. But anyways, that you can, and it's freaking convenient. And then connection, just, I don't know. I just feel like offering someone a Notion template is super personal. I don't know, like, um, I used to create like Notion template gifts for my friends. <laughs> so I, that's how I also feel like when I download a Notion template from someone for free. And um, just in general, DM automations, communicating through DMs, it just feels personal. So, you know, it's a perfect place for um, connection to grow and you're serving again, not only thinking about sales. So it really creates a really nice connection with you and your community. And lastly, cool growth. Um, DM automations, it increases traffic to your DM. And what does that what does that do? Well, actually, this is so good for the algorithm. It signals that you actually have friends, <laughs> that you are not friends. You actually have genuine connections. And um, this makes the algorithm think, oh, okay, wow, this person is actually legit. So let me just let me just increase, let me just uh, the algorithm will be like, okay, yes, this person is great. Let me just um, send out their stuff to more people. Um, and then, as I mentioned, enhances engagement by motivating more comments, your email list, um, the perfect combo, honestly. You're offering something that is for free for you to make, and it doesn't take too long. It's just simple. It gives people a taste, and then you deliver it effortlessly. And this is how I grew. This is how I grew these years. 
for this very powerful combination. And, and, and as I mentioned, there's, it doesn't matter what niche, it doesn't matter if you're big or small, you're missing out if you're not using this combination. And um, it's amazing, yeah. So remember, CCC, convenience, connection, and cool growth. If anyone asks you, CCC and I created this framework. So yeah, I'm so awkward sometimes. All right, so let's just check what time it is. All right, already 43 minutes. Wow, I hope I still have your attention. Like I typically, I doze off after 20 minutes. So if someone is speaking to me for more than 20 minutes, I'm like gone having like children's songs playing in my head, thinking about what to eat later. Um, I hope you're still here because I want to talk to you about my game plan then. So this is what I normally do. I would create a Notion resource, free resource like I did with the plus uh, 129 plus Notion template ideas. Then I'll prepare an Instagram post, write the caption and everything and prepare it, schedule it. And then I will, if I'm really good, I will create the automation and then post. But knowing me, I get so excited sometimes that I just prepare the Instagram post and then I just post it. And I'm like, oh shit, I didn't create an automation. Then I will just create it in five minutes after. And sometimes it's a bit shitty, but then I, yeah, I improve. But this is um, the game plan I want to have, like dun, 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 in the right order. So everything is perfect. And today we are not going to create a Notion resource because it's Saturday and some, some people are very late and we're not going to prepare an Instagram post. I already did that. But what we will do is we will create an automation together, a very simple one. I want to make it very simple. I don't want to take too much of your time because it's, it, yeah, I don't want it to be too long. So we'll do that um, because mostly I also create, I must say, do, there are so many features, but I actually use the most basic ones. Maybe you can start using it and you figure out, actually, Teresa, this works better. Text me, DM me so I can improve too. I'll show you. So we'll do that together. So let's get started. Um, we can do this together as mentioned. Yeah, we can do this together. If you have already created an account, you don't have to, if it's too much for you. I know it's also late for some of you. You don't have to do it, but I would suggest to split your screen so that you can watch me do it. I'll do it like, you know, nice and slow pace. And then you can also do it um, by yourself um, on your computer or you can do it after. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Did everyone sign up? Can you raise your hand if you want to do it? It's also okay if you if you don't want to do it with me and I just do it by myself. So it's okay. Just want to see if anyone wants to join. So then I will just speak a bit slower. Um, and if you want to sign up, then I hope you already did. But maybe we can just take like a three minute break. I just drink some matcha. Mm. And I also want to check if my dad is still here or if he's already bored. Is he here? My dad is still here. That's so nice. I'm really curious about who showed up. I will definitely stalk all of you later. Um, all right. I think it's time. So if you haven't created an account, you're probably stressed out right now if you're like in the middle of creating it. And it, it's okay, you mean I, you can do it after. And if you already have an account, I hope you already split your screen and, or you can also do it on your phone actually. There's a QR scan, it's not as good on your phone, but you can. Um, <clears throat> let's get started. So I just wanna go back to the game plan. Oh, no, 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 no. I wanna go back to the game plan. Ooh. So I will first show you I already showed you my Notion resource, right? I'll show you my Instagram post. I'm just getting some messy. I'll show you my Instagram post and then I'll take you to ManyChat and we'll post it and then we can test everything out together. Someone is um, commenting something on QA. Okay, let's get started. I'm very nervous about this because I'm like, what if I fuck up? Like it's always like that. When you do it by yourself, everything works. And then when you try to show someone, you just fuck up. I'll try not to. Um, I need to stop sharing the screen. And instead I'll show you. Oh, wait. I just have to get two seconds. I just have to get into my social media um, page. 
and I don't want to see, I don't want you to see how messy my notion is right now. You would think that everything is aesthetic <laughs> and, and some of it is, but not everything. I feel like it's like showing you guys my room. It's very personal. Okay, now I'll show you, share my screen. Is it here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. So not technical. Okay. I hope you all see my screen. You should be seeing my screen now. Um, so I have everything in Notion. I plan everything in Notion. I post everything from Notion. If you want to learn how to do this, I can teach you at some other point because it is game changing. Because typically before I would just have all my stuff in Notion, then I would schedule it somewhere else and then it's just copy pasting everything back and forth that's super annoying so now I have found a way I found a tool that allows you to do everything from Notion so I have here this post that I will be posting I really hope it works um it takes five minutes typically for it to, to post and it's uh yeah and if you comment niche you get it for free so that's it's a carousel post so I would typically have all the um the caption here already and the link for the automation. Um, so I will add that in the automation. I just have it here now, but I actually, before I post this, I'll delete the pictures and the link because I already have the pictures here. And typically I would be like, okay, what type of post is it? It's a carousel post. What's the content? Um, well, it's kind of for, yeah, if you're a creator, right? And then the purpose, what is the purpose? Um, what is the purpose? Let's say, actually, actually, I just, I believe, <laughs> I just want your emails. I just want to see all your emails. <laughs> That's why I'm offering you this. So let's say that. And then I will be, oh, choosing the platform and the time. I want it to be today. And if I don't choose time, it will post immediately, but I, I won't be posting it right now. For me to post it, I would have to click on done, but I won't do that now because we, we don't have the automation yet. This is the mistake I make every single time I, I, I post it before the automation is there. So let's move on to many chats to the ones of you who are who wants to do this automation with me. You don't need to have a social media post ready for this. Uh, you can test it out in many chat. I just I'm just extra. Um, so that's why. OK, let me just share my screen with you. Again, because now I'm sharing my Notion screen, right? I am so there. Okay, so you see, I already put this product up on Gumroad. This is where people will download it. This is where people will give me the email addresses and opt in. Um, so this is the link that I will be using in the automation, right? And let's get into ManyChat. Here we are. In Manchet. This is what it looks like when you are logged in. I think many of you are, are looking at your own screen. It looks like this. So first step is to click on automation right here. And there's a lot of things going on and I'm very bad at organizing my stuff, but I, I try to have different folders. Um, and if you want to create a new automation, you have to click on new flow up on the top right corner. There it is. And then the first step is to choose a trigger. And I usually, I use DM triggers. I wanted people to DM me, but now actually I use comments more. And it's just because it's, I think there, I don't, I couldn't find any study that showed the difference, like what's actually best. But if you use DM triggers, then you can create longer flows, like several messages and delays. But if you only use a comment trigger, then you can only have one message. And sometimes that's enough. So if it's just a free resource, then I will typically um, use a comment trigger. But if it's more personal, for example, if it's someone who wants to do one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, I'll say, hey, um, reply to the story or send me a DM. And then I get like a lot of information, voice messages, you know, I really have to sell myself when it's a one-on-one -on -one coaching, right? So it really depends. So I think you can see whatever works best for you. So you click on your trigger 
And then you can see, okay, what do you want? Comment, unpost the reel, start a reply. You can even choose like multiple things. Um, direct message with keyword, and user clicks and referral links. So apparently there's a new thing out now where you can have like uh, make ads. Um, and then when people click on the link, they will get directed to your inbox, but I haven't um, used that yet. So let's just, let's go simple today. Yeah, because it's late for some people. So let's do a comment. And then you can choose, should it be a specific post or reel? So if you have the free version, that's all you can do. But if you have the pro version, you can choose next post or real or any post. So I sometimes I use the same keyword for, yeah, again and again, for example, I have a keyword course that, yeah, that I use very often. So I, um, and it's really annoying because a lot of people are texting me, of course, <laughs> on my DMs, so it's, but I disabled that. So now it works perfectly. So yeah. So if it's something you're gonna use many times, if it's an offer that you just, always have, then use any post or real, or if it's like a one-time thing, please don't, um, because then people get the offer at, uh, and then they can't get it and then they're like, why? And so just use next post or real or specific post or real. So we want to do, I'm probably gonna advertise for this um, template, Notion template ideas many times. So let's just say any post or real. And then, what you can choose is that, okay, do you wanna send it out to people who are just commenting? So you can send it to everyone who's commenting. That might be a bit aggressive. And sometimes I for forgot to choose the keyword, <laughs> like one job. And I forgot that. And then everyone who commented, even like, oh, that's so nice, you're so inspirational. I'll be like straight out sending them a DM, like, hey, get my course, um, let's get started. And it's just, it's inappropriate <laughs> sometimes. So very important that you decide what you want to do and you just don't skip all the steps like I usually do. Um, so I would choose comment contain specific word. But this post, um, since it's this niche ideas, let's use a word that people don't use too often. Like I made the mistake of using words like love, right, for Valentine's Day. And people were like, oh, I love this, I love that. And then they just kept getting the, the template and some of them are like, oh, I don't want this. <laughs> um, so use a keyword that is not used that often. And I don't remember the last time someone mentioned the word niche. I think it's like a French word. Like I, I don't remember anyone ever mentioning that to me. Um, so then you can, you can do that. And then if there's any comments, exclude these, you can do that, but I never do that. Now the cool thing that I figured out way too late that I really love, and that is, that you can actually reply to every comment. And yeah, I think, so the, the really good thing is that ManyChat is actually uh, partnered up with Instagram, with Meta. So they actually, they, so Meta and Instagram supports these messages. So actually it's not just spam, like it, it's, it's actually great. And um, so every time someone comments, I can actually choose what I want to reply to them. So let's say someone um, says niche, I'm mean, like, oh, sweet. Check your inbox. Um, and I don't want everyone to get the same because then it's just like, it's not personal. So awesome. I'll be like, awesome. And then I'll send like a, a this. And sometimes I just um, check your DMs. So this is really great. And then I, I, I figured out something that's really, really awesome. The other day I was like, why don't I just ask questions for these like comment um, replies? Because then you, I'll start a conversation right in my post. So I can ask, um, cool, uh, what niche are you in? Can you say that in English? I don't know, is that my, what niche are you in? I don't know, what niche are you? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, my space didn't work. Oops, are there. Um, yeah. So if you start a question, it's just even cooler because you're starting a conversation right, like automatically, right? And it's something I'm actually curious about because I wanna know, yeah, about my followers and what they're doing so I can create better content for them. So it's it's actually very smart and I didn't think about that before. Okay, so we got that done. That's the trigger. And I said, all right, I just wanna ask if, if it's too fast or if it's too slow, let me know. I hope you guys can, can follow. Um, I actually didn't practice this demonstration right here. So 
I hope it's okay. But if it's too fast, someone texted something. It's perfect. Okay, perfect. Good to know. Good to know. Thank you, Laura. Um, next step is then to choose, okay, if someone comments this word, what do I want to happen? You can even send an email to people, but you would have to ask them for, um, you'd, you'd have to ask them for the permission. So cool thing about ManyChat is that, yeah, you can also use it to collect emails, but I use Gumroad. So as you can see, I already uh, posted the product with Gumroad, but you can actually send the product directly to people's emails um, via ManyChat, which is a, a very popular feature. I just don't use it. You can use it. It's You need to go into settings and set everything up, um, but also cool. But I all I want today is a message. And um, yeah, so again, let's think about authentic messages. So what you can do if you click here is you can choose to put their full name, first name, last name, gender. Um, that's so weird. Imagine if you put gender and it's like, hey, girl, it looks something like that. So I, I just put first name. Sometimes I just put first name and then I put an emoji and people. I don't know. It's cute. It's like uh, if your name is uh, Laura, it's like Laura. Oh, someone commented. Uh, is there a reason why you prefer government? Or, okay, I'll answer that later. So yeah, you can, um, so it, they, this is what they will receive in the DMs. It will say their name. Sometimes they have like, uh, sometimes they don't use their names. It's a bit weird. Sometimes people's names are like plant. You're like plant, but anyways. Um, then you can write like a cute message. I'm so happy that you are interested in my um, notion template ideas. template ideas. I really hope there is something, something for your audience in there. In there, if not, um, if I'm such a slow text, if not, let me know. Okay, so cute message, right? And you can end it with an emoji. Oh, the emoji wanted to be here. No, I want it to be here. Obviously, you can you can write it in your own voice and however you want it to be. And then you can um, add the button and say access the template here. Oh, okay, no. Download template, let's just do symbol. Download template, and then you can choose. Simply, this button can also be used for other things. There's so many things like randomizer. You can, yeah, do so many things. But I just want to redirect them to this website um, with the free resource. So I will click on open website. And then what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to copy this. Oh, wait, I have a better link. I don't know if this link is just for me. I'll copy the link. Okay, I'll copy the link. I'll just do it. Let me just get into this product. I I think you can see this, right? Uh, link. There it is. And I put it in here. Bam. And then now when they click on this, they will get to this Gumroad page where they can download um, the free resource and I'll, yeah, they'll type in the email. They'll say, yes, I accept, I opt in to the emails, da, da, da. So they are in my email list on Gumroad, which is amazing, right? Um, and uh, so what you can do that I sometimes like to do is then, okay, when they're done that, I can, I can actually tag them, tag different people. So people who want this template are usually creators, right? So that they can get inspiration. It could also just be a random person who just wants to get some inspiration. Oh, someone texted something. How did you get the first name variable? Um, I'll show you. Oh, sorry. You click on this, and then you can choose if you want to say if you even want to use their like full name as like or last name. <laughs> um, and you, yeah, so that's that's how you do it. Um, but yeah, so this is the automation. Now it's done. Wasn't it just simple? I mean, you can do a lot of 
you can do delays, but not with comments. As I mentioned, if you do a DM, then you can do delays so that there are more messages and you can randomize the messages so people get different messages. But I'm actually, I said that I was extra in many things in life, but when it comes to these things, I just, I want to make it cute and nice and personal and then, uh, yeah, get on. And someone else, oh no, it's the same person who commented. So yeah, now when they put comment niche, I'll reply to them and sometimes ask them a question, sometimes just say sweet, sent to your inbox. They'll receive this message with their name. So I'll be like, hey, Joshua, I'm so happy to blah, blah, blah. Then when I click here, they'll go to Gumroad, they'll download it, I'll get their, um, yeah, they'll be registered in, as my email, in my email list. And then they will use it and uh, maybe create templates and maybe feel like, wow, this was very valuable. And this is so cool that she created all these 129 plus ideas for me. Amazing. And then I'll tag this person as creator. So I know, okay, this person is a creator probably. And yeah, so then I just click on set life and everything is awesome. Everything is uh, activated. Um, yeah. So now the automation is done. And if you don't, if you wanna just check your automation yourself, you can click on preview. And then you can kind of see, you can actually do it on Instagram. So if you connect to your Instagram, you can click on in Instagram and then let me just show you what happens. Then you just have to have someone else text you this number and then you will be able to see how the automation works. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. Um, any questions? What do you use for your email list and how does it connect with Gumroad? Um, you see? Yeah, when people when people go to the website here and um, why can't I? Okay, when people go to this page here, as you see, they will to download it. They will have to put in their email address and everything, and kind of click like accept that they yeah that it's okay for me to email them, and then my email list will be in Gumroad, and then I can of course have like Mailchimp or whatever, and I can send everyone to. And you can actually also send everyone from ManyChat. You can send them. If you collect emails from ManyChat, you can also send them to MailChimp or ConvertKit or whatever you're using. So pretty cool. I don't do that because I just use Gumroad. I think it's easier for me. And um, I don't know. I just uh, like it that way. But of course, you can do it in different ways. And can you automatically follow up with people who download it after, for example, a week? Oh no, actually, there's a thing. I actually asked ManyChat this question um, yesterday and they replied that, okay, so you can, you can reply, you can have automations that is set like 24 hours after, um, or was it 12? 12 or 24 hours after, so you can have like an automatic message if someone didn't reply or like a checkout message, you can do that. But you cannot, um, you cannot message them a week later automatically because they wanna avoid spam. Another thing is that you can also not send a message to all the people at the same time that is on your many chat because that's also spam. So they want to avoid that. So you cannot do that. Um, but yeah, if you if you do a DM trigger, oh, oops, that's not good. If you do a DM trigger, you can have delays, messages that comes after, and then you can even have answers for people. So you can ask them a question and then you give them some options and then depending on what they answer you can ask something else and yeah there's a lot of different features um and then someone asks is there a maximum of automation you can set up i i don't think so there's a maximum amount of uh, subscribers um for the free version as i mentioned you can have a thousand subscribers um for free on many chat and um yeah, I, I don't think that there's any limit for these automations. I will ask to make sure and then I'll send an email, but I actually, no, I have so many automations. Some of you hate them. I'm sorry because they just show up way too often. I think I cut down a lot now, um, especially in DMs. Um, but yeah, I think I think there's, there's no limit, but I'll definitely double check and let you know. And then someone is saying, I would love to get a workshop on how to do all posting to social media from Notion. Yeah, sure, we can do that, yeah. 
um, next month I, I can I can definitely put together a workshop because I think it's so cool it's so amazing and it's um, it's uh, the person who who created this tool is a, a guy from India he's a college student and he's actually not having a lot of people using his uh, tool so I think you'd be really happy if I created a workshop about it yeah that's basically it so I actually now I want to post a post and I want you guys to just test it out, comment on my post to get this uh, template. Should we do that? Yes, okay, let me just stop sharing. I really hope it works now because as I mentioned, this tool, it usually works. It usually works. Um, but sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't. <laughs> it's, it actually it works like 95% of the time, but like some, and typically it's because of me. Typically it's because of me. And it's quite new. He just finished his website. Oh, wait, I don't know if you can see my screen. You can't, right? No, you can't see my notion. Oh, you can, you can, sorry. You can see it. Great. That's all done. I chose the time and um, yeah, the caption I just put here. And to post it, all I have to do is click on status and then done. And um, this whole tool is like, for every five minutes, it will check, okay, how many people tagged it as done? Then it will post a post. So typically it takes around, uh, yeah, one to five minutes. So you'll see this post in, actually I wanna check, but yeah, I know it, it probably takes a little bit of time before uh, you will see it. And if, if you won't see it, then I will just, Post it from my phone, uh, usually works. Let's just wait. Anyways, in the meantime, we can go back to what count? Okay, someone actually asked. Let's go back to Q&A then in the meantime. So I'll just go back to Q&A now. Share. Okay, Q&A. Um, someone asked. Someone asked, what counts as a subscriber? People who get a message? Yeah, people who engage with your um, automation is considered a subscriber. Yeah. Wow, Laura is really and they're like asking all the right questions. I have such a difficult time um, asking questions. So every time I watch something or I go to a class, a lecture, I'm just like, I, don't ha I have so many questions, but I just don't know what they are, but yeah. Uh, it's live. oh. Amazing, it worked. I'm so happy. Um, so yeah, if you guys just uh, comment, Mitch, then you will, for some reason, Christina, you didn't get it, but it really depends. Actually, some accounts, for some weird reason, they, they won't be able to uh, receive these DM automations, but um, mostly people will get them because as I mentioned, ManyChat is uh, partnered with um, Meta with Instagram, so when, when they are bugs, they're always trying to, to fix it. But yeah, it works. I think that's, uh, that's basically it. Um, do you have any other questions? What about if one person comments on multiple posts? Is that one subscriber? It's still one subscriber because they, are, they will be like uh, registered. Oh my God, someone said, yes, this is the best workshop I've attended in months. Oh my God, I'm so happy to hear. I really hope, I, I don't want to talk too much. I think I did talk a lot because I was nervous, but just, just wanted to show you what it's all about. Um, but yeah, if, if someone comments on a lot of posts, they're still considered just as one subscriber. I did find out one thing though, because I did have like a carousel post where I was like, okay, this is all, these are all my free resources. Um, and then you can comment what you want. And then people sometimes would comment books, love, bucket, all keywords. And then they would only get the first one, the first keyword they use. So yeah, I thought it would work, but it doesn't work that way. So if you want to have a carousel post where you want like different automations, then you should not use a comment trigger, but use a DM trigger because then if they DM you, they will get whatever they, they DM'd. Uh, and uh, yeah, someone said excited to try this. Uh, yeah, I'm happy. Okay, any, any last questions? If you have any other questions, you can always email me or DM me um, later. But if, if that's all, then I think we actually, 
then today. Um, yeah. Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Nothing bad. Okay. No. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you all for joining today. Um, yeah, it's my first uh, webinar, and um, I was really nervous that nobody showed up. But it's I'm happy to see that that uh, we were around 40 people when we started, and that's that's pretty good. I think that's amazing. I know that way more people signed up and a lot of people tipped, but they maybe yeah something happened or um and and that's okay. Like I I knew that um, probably only a low percentage because that's all that's always how it is, right? I I have signed. I I'm one of those. I must say I'm one of those. I sign up to a lot of masterclass. I'm like I have to learn this and that. And then I don't show up and I forget about it or I'm like, ah, not in the mood. And that's totally fine. So I'm just, I see it as a win for my waste webinar um, to oh, <laughs> so many comments. You guys are so nice. Uh, I was so nervous. And then I just, I feel like in this community, there's just such a nice, supportive and very humorous energy. And it makes me feel very comfortable. So I wouldn't mind doing this again. I have a really cool workshop about how to create aesthetic notion templates that I've been working on for months. It's really nice. And it's like the theme of the presentation is like iPad. So it like looks like an iPad, but anyways, that's of course not the most important part. To, yeah, um, really, really happy that you guys join and let's stay connected. Um, I guess most of you guys are already connected to me somehow. Uh, so yeah, I think that's all for today. Uh, thank you so much for joining and I bet it's uh, you guys are busy it's Saturday so you can get going if you have any feedback for me that would be very appreciated you can just send me a dm or email me and yeah that's uh, that's it for me I think I'll go home now from uni before they throw me out it will typically do that at nine and I'll eat my um, instant noodles and call it a day yeah and then uh, i'll go to my parents house tomorrow so i dad i'll, I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> yeah great thank you i i don't want to keep you here so um i'll stop <laughs> i'll stop talking all right okay bye oh yeah and this will be recorded too I, this is recorded um so you can you can how do, how do i end the call <laughs> oh my god i'm such a boomer okay i'll end it now so bye